Superman, Man of Tomorrow was directed by Chris Palmer and stars the voice talents of Darren Chris, Zachary Quinto, Alexandra Daddario, Brett Dalton, and Ryan Hurst, just to name a few. And it tells the story of a young Clark Kent who has a job as an intern at the Daily Planet and is not only trying to figure out what his purpose should be in Metropolis, but also his purpose on this planet that he's chosen to call his own. So recently, as you guys know, um, DC has decided to revamp the way they do their animated films, giving us a lot of standalone stuff. We had that strokes Night and Demon, Nights and Demons, sorry, that is going to be developed into a TV series, uh, I think a web TV series. And now we have Superman Man of Tomorrow. Now I'm a huge fan of the man in blue guys and I'm always excited for anything that's going to be focused on him because let's face it, you know, the bats gets all the play, he gets, he gets all the popularity and for good reason. But I think Superman is a fantastic character that just doesn't get enough love. So was Man of Tomorrow the movie to bring him back onto course? I'm going to say hell yeah. So let's get into it guys and of course I'm going to start with the visuals because this is animated. Now I am positive there are people out there who are going to say they did not like the visuals in this movie that it seemed wooden or stilted or all that different stuff. And I'm not going to lie, from the first opening frame I was a little bit skeptical as to what they were going for but I was excited because it was different guys it was not the same thing that dc has been doing for years and years now where the characters have had this look that mimics the new 52 run for quite some time i wanted something different and fresh and this was it i like the look of this movie i like the fact that it looked like uh comic panels you would read you know um in the newspapers you know those old classic superman uh cartoons from way back when it looked a little bit you know like an homage to those that classic superman so i dug it i really did i like the fact that cg was only really used to enhance the colors that was there to enhance the movement where it had to be used it didn't overwhelm everything everything didn't feel super digital I dug this guys I, I really did I, I like I said I know it's gonna probably be very divisive I think you know some people are gonna hate it for me it was a lot of fun it was like early Japanese anime like really early stuff um, but I, I give them points for doing something visually different I give them a lot of points for that so yes I did love the look of this film and as for the voice cast awesome work guys you know because again we've had the same people for quite some time and they've done commendable work of course the greats are always gonna be uh the early ones from the animated tv series you know kevin conroy dana delaney the people who worked on those series they did wonderful work clancy brown you know all of them they really added some iconic voicing to those characters you know and they stood out as for the the stuff prior to this, I've never really been a huge fan of the voice work done for Batman and for Superman. No disrespect to Jerry O'Connell, he was fine. You know, Rosario Dawson as Wonder Woman is awesome, actually. Um, but the Superman and the Batman, I think Batman was voiced by uh, Jason Mara. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. I have to look that up. Um, I just never felt any real energy from that, guys. The only person to me who really nailed it was the actor, of course, who did Constantine because he is Constantine in the television series, you know. Um, here we have new talent behind the voices. We have Darren Chris who actually is a DC anti-hero. Uh, he played Music Meister in the Flash television series. You know, we, we have Alexander Daddario, who's, I don't think she's ever really done stuff like this before, but good on her, you know. She brought a youthful energy to Lois, which it, it fits perfectly because it's, these are younger characters. This is not 30 something, 40 something year old uh, Clark and Lois, whatever. They're very much in their early 20s here. So they needed that energy, I think. And they nailed it. Everybody did great work. The actor who voiced Parasite 
I think he also played Grant Ward and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, good on him. I really needed this fresh blood, guys. And I felt like they did wonderful work. Ryan Hurst as Lobo is my absolute favorite of all of them. It's <laughs> he totally nailed it. <laughs> good on him. Zachary Quinto, Lex Luthor. If you've seen Zachary Quinto most recently in Nosferatu, you know he makes for a good villain. So yeah, guys, I think it was a good idea to change up the voice act actors to bring in fresh blood. It definitely gave me, it definitely gave that energy to the characters that was needed. And then we have the story, the meat of it all. And I feel like they nailed it. Now, this is loosely based on Superman American Alien by Max Landis. Very loosely based. But this is one of those few stories that I actually haven't read, the Superman uh, comics I haven't read. So I wasn't familiar with it. Um, what I love that they did here is they touched on certain real life topics without getting preachy. They, they touched on the topics of, you know, embracing your heritage, learning about your heritage and still, you know, trying to fit into a new world, uh, a new place kind of thing. and finding a way to connect with the people there and for those people to give people a chance you know and not to judge them from where they may have come from but on who they are and what they do while they are in their, this new world you know uh they also touched a bit on ptsd and soldiers i felt like that's what parasites uh character may have represented a bit there because the character himself is an ex-soldier highly decorated one you know and you see him come home and you know he doesn't have this great job but he's a good man you know and i feel like that, that character of parasite and all the trauma that he's going through there is very representative of maybe ptsd and and what soldiers go through when they come home maybe i'm reading too much into it but that's what i got from it and i think it was really really well handled how subtly they touched on these topics without feeling like they were preaching at you so good on them guys overall as you can tell i had a blast with this lobo was hilarious i would i hope to see more of them in the future i wouldn't even mind a standalone lobo movie honestly um everybody i think did wonderful work and visually for me this felt fresh this felt new and this is what i wanted I got a Superman movie that actually gave me a hopeful Superman. You know what the S freaking represents, guys. I got a Superman who was funny and goofy and sweet and optimistic. And he went through all those emotions. He wasn't just sad and brooding all the time like in the Snyder movies. You know, he wasn't all broken and lost. This is what I want. This is what I want to see from Superman. This is who Superman is. This is the heart of who he is. He's just a guy living in a world that he loves, protecting people that he cares for, and trying to find a way to be as human as possible. As Batman once said in the comics, he's the most human person I've ever met. So Superman Man of Tomorrow, guys, gets a 10 out of 10 from me i know a lot of people are gonna be like what no no way it's seven for the most i don't care i loved it so i'm giving it a perfect score 10 out of 10 and i really hope this is what dc is bringing me in the future i'm absolutely psyched for everything they showed us at dc fandom but their dc animated lineup it's always been a place where you go in really hopeful to get something awesome. And a lot of the times we do, but now it feels like they've given it a fresh coat of paint and they're going to be really focusing on giving us some top quality work. So good on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you see this movie, definitely let me know what you thought of it. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. Newcomers who would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click on my face right over there when it pops up and you can check out past videos if you've got the time. So until the next one, guys. Bye-bye.